Hello, everybody. Welcome to Barcelona. This is day eight of the FIBA Basketball World Cup and the round of 16 game between New Zealand and Lithuania. And jumping center, Rob Lowe and Jonas Valanciunas. And the quick jump from Rob Lowe turns it over uh, immediately over to Lithuania. Wearing the green and attacking the basket to the left of your screen. Yoskavish, excuse me, <laughs> out there handling the ball for New Zealand. There he is, number five. He was cut from the team and then added to the team after the injury to County Ethis. And early on, a foul. And this is going to be strategy there for Lithuania. They're just going to pound the ball to the inside. And Rob Lowe makes the first foul. Lotte Yunas, what a powerful player he is. He's playing for the Houston Rockets in the NBA, and he has established himself well in the tournament. He's the second leading scorer there for the Lithuanians with 10.4 points. And guess who's the leading scorer? We said it before, it's Jonas Valenciunas. So what a combo, one-two punch that the Lithuanians have there at big man. Well, Lotte Yunas misses the first uh, with the Shrek fan in the stands and plenty of bearded drummers. Lotte Yunas. I wouldn't say he was a, a player that played a lot last year at the Eurobasket, so it looks like his role is uh, increased here. He's still a very well, young uh, player with a lot of upside. Abercrombie now started by Matulis. Low catches it back to Abercrombie. And Abercrombie flies in there, but finds a wall of Lithuanian defenders. That was the interior defense. Some big bodies there for the Lithuanians. Very difficult shot for Abercrombie to finish. He's going to have to maybe be a little bit smarter and just make a jump stop and shoot a short jumper. Now Valanciunas hands it off to Sabudis. And now to Valanciunas. Sabudis. And the rebound. We saw Monte Yunus boxing out, but it goes back over to New Zealand. And that was a mismatch right there because for a moment it was Kirk oh. Penny. You see right at the fight for the rebound and a great box out there at the last moment by Mika Bukonen. Penny passes over to Abercrombie. He was denied in his first uh, attempt at the basket. Now Vukona tries to dump it down low to Rob Lowe, so oh. Lithuania defensively looks strong. He took just too much time telegraphing that pass underneath. If you throw a lob pass, you just got to throw it immediately. Sabutis, oh, beautiful pass to Moti Yunus. And that's Ronaldo Sabutis. He's going to take it in, but he was looking for a better position teammate with Moti Yunus. Good finish. What a great pass on that play. Now bounce pass to Webster, and Webster's pass. Uh, there's no one to receive it. But did you see how Lithuania is just back in the middle? It's very difficult to make a pass for Ty Webster. This, yes, was, this was the play. He's so smart. I mean, he doesn't force anything. He understands that his team needs him more for the passing than the, than the offensive skills and scoring. And yeah, Montiunas, his pass not handled, but the ball ends up in the hands of Lithuania, and Valanciunas high goes up for the dunk. High percentage shots by Jonas Valanciunas. But quickly to the other end is Ty Webster. And that's what Lithuania has got to watch, the athletic ability of New Zealand, especially Ty Webster or, or his brother off the bench. And it's not often, George, that Lithuania doesn't want to run, but really, without County Ethics, they don't run as well. And you have to say that maybe New Zealand are a better fast-breaking team in this encounter. Sabutis, though, drives right down the lane. That's got to be a better interior defense. Rob Lowe really is going to have to step it up, at least challenge the shot. Lowe hands it off to Abercrombie. And Monte Yunus with the long arms and the rebound. He's very active early. Absolutely no chance for an offensive rebound here for New Zealand. Chance of Lietuva, Lietuva for Lithuania. Monte Yunus and Valanciunas just too big, just reaches up even though he was boxed out by Vukona, but quickly is a wet three. He gets the ball in the corner. Pulls up for the jumper. Good. Well, he's feeling it early. Look at Ty Webster. I mean, he looks extremely comfortable there on the floor. That was a smart play. He just didn't rush anything. Stopped there a little bit behind the free throw line and made a nice jumper. He's really matured in the tournament. Mesulis for three. 
And the long rebound out to Low. Bacona, Rob Lowe passes over to Abercrombie, who again puts up a three. Rob Lowe for the follow. And Rob Lowe <laughs> missed the easiest of layups. I cannot believe that Rob Lowe just missed Devo. There was nobody around him to challenge the shot. He's just got to make that. Yeah, it's been a, there have been passages of play where he's been good, but uh, Rob Lowe, I think, will probably get a lot better as his career goes on. Kaslowskis marching the sidelines for Lithuania. Or pacing. And Vukona drives in and draws the foul. Mika Vukona, I would say heart and soul of the team, also brains. I mean, he just pushes everybody to play at such a high energy level that he is invaluable for the team. It's very important for Mika Vukona to stay out of foul trouble because he really does provide the toughness that nobody else can provide. Well, the size disadvantage is striking. Uh, New Zealand, it looks more more so in this game than any other they played, even against the United States and Turkey. But you know what is most striking? The way that the Tall Blacks can handle themselves on the boards. Even in that preparation game that you spoke about against Lithuania, they out-rebounded Lithuania by 14, 41 to 27. So this has been a quality of the Tall Blacks that has not been expected by many with an undersized team like that. Bacona has had some struggles at the free throw line in the tournament, and he makes just one of two. Juskevicius passes to Sabutis now inside to Moti Yunus and Vukona commits the foul and we might we might see a substitution here. Well I think that we're gonna have to see a double because on a single coverage I think this is almost impossible for, for this is Carnetis who will just operate it on with his shoulder. And you can see that every game that he shows up to watch with Lithuania is just uh, frustration because he wants to be out there he wants to be out there but I think it's a great sign of camaraderie that he traveled here to Spain after surgery that was performing Kaunas Lithuania the prognosis is good he's gonna recover but it's gonna take some time but on the other hand he has traveled to first Gran Canaria and now he's in Barcelona it's not like he's really roughing it is he it's a great place to visit just one of two but ball goes out and Masulis has got blood dripping down his face. Wow. He's going to have to come out of the game. He must have caught some type of elbow, or we'll have to look and see. He's the type of player Very that will stick his player. nose in where it's not wanted. But watch what happens. He comes in against Vakona. Oh, no, it was Abercrombie that got him yep. as he was coming down. With the right elbow. And so that's a, a blow. I think that's, so that's going to require a few stitches right there. Well, Yasidis has come into the game. I think the Lithuanian team doctor is just coming over to check on things. Well, the breakage in play, and now it comes back. Vukona gets the steal, and Penny puts up a three, and it rims out. And Abercrombie, whose elbow caught Masiulis, commits the foul on Valanchunas. And they just got to be careful with uh, Kirk Penny. He was just wide oh, open on that shot. You don't want to get him going. He hasn't shot a shot. It was his first shot in the game. A miss. We really have not seen Kirk Penny in a, in a super shooting form. Would you agree, Jeff, in the tournament? No, not at all. Although he's had a lot of uh, pressure on him. A you know, foul is called on Kirk Penny there. So a couple of quick fouls. Four team fouls on New Zealand. Yasidis has come in for Masulis. But look at the team defense of New Zealand. They bring it up at least a little bit there. Now they back off. Budis' pass. Now remember, they don't have the natural playmaker without Kalnietis. Sabudis. And the pass intercepted by Vukona. How much is this affecting them with Kalnietis? I mean, can you get a read on it here in the early going? Extremely difficult. I mean, but they have managed in the tournament. Uh, they won the group. Their group. Uh, so I think they have managed. That's Matulis coming off the off the floor. I think he's going to have to get a few stitches right there. I mean, there's no question about it, the way he was bleeding. But I, let's hope that he gets back to play. So the two youngsters for Lithuania still in the game, and Moti Yunus and Valanchunas four and a half minutes in. But New Zealand right where they want to be. Casey Frank 
puts up a long jumper. That's, and a, that's a little bit more of a muscle and toughness there with KC Frank now for New Zealand. He's going to go against Valentunas. Juskevich and a couple of early shots in those offenses for Lithuania. And immediately there was a clash between F KC Frank and Valentunas on the box out. And it goes over to Vakona for a mid-range jumper. He scraps for the ball, gets it back. And the hustle of Vakona keeps it in New Zealand's hands. Quickly, Abercrombie goes in, more contact, and they are really finding it difficult to shoot over those Lithuanian interior players. Absolutely, the size difference just really plays a role right now. The, the penetration by Abercrombie, that was the second time that he went in there. He almost couldn't see a basket. Just kind of threw it up where he thought the basket was. And that's the second foul right there on Mika Bukona. That could be a big time problem there for New Zealand and Coach Vucinic. Well, Vasilaskis is going to come into the game for Juska Vicius. Vasilaskis, number 15, and Fotu is in the game for New Zealand. So he comes in for Bukona. And let's see how he does because he was really a huge factor. I already said it many times here during the broadcast. And if he can pick up where he left off, it's going to be a big addition there to New Zealand. Part of the game that uh, see Corey Webster also coming in for New Zealand. Valanciunas has got to make his free throws as his career goes on. And I think now New Zealand also is going to have to play smart because uh, they already have five team fouls. So any foul from now on for Lithuania is going to be a free throw. Uh, Casey Frank at big court. Lithuania not really getting much joy. Excuse me, New Zealand not getting much joy inside. Now Webster. You know what's also amazing that 11 players on the Lithuanian squad are averaging more than 10 minutes. It just completely tells you that the minutes are evenly distributed. So what I'm thinking, this could also be a big edge for Lithuania that none of the Lithuanian players should be tired. A foul was called on Vasilaskis. Now Fotu hands it off. Webster. And and really, there's no semblance of an inside attack for New Zealand at this point. And New Zealand has been dominant on offensive boards, but they haven't had a chance in the game today. I mean, Lithuania are doing a hell of a job in boxing out. Valentinus thinks about it, puts up a long jumper. Good. Well, that, that's a bonus right there. If Valentinus is going to make a long jumper like that. Alex Kunis is in the game for Lithuania. Now Casey Frank. From the corner, Corey Webster. Well, they're going to have to make some jumpers themselves to open things up. Absolutely, because you saw what was happening there on the penetration. So this is a very important outside shot by Corey Webster. Sabunas over goes to Vasilauskas, and he hits the three. Look at Vasilauskas just coming from with a limited international experience with playing in Poland in Sopot and just making a big, big three right there. Kurt Penny gives it back to Frank, and Valanciunas with both hands comes down with a rebound. That was a wild shot right there by KC Frank. Already an eight-point lead for Lithuania. Yankunas gets in with the hook shot, banks it in. Oh, he got lucky on that shot, but Lithuania is going to take it. It's going to be. A timeout there for New Zealand because it's a double-digit lead, the biggest of the game, 7-17. Webster picked up his dribble. Potsius has come into the game. One of the veterans for Lithuania, Martinez Potsius. Webster. And misses, gets his own rebound. Kurt Penny finds that he's open, and the ball just will not drop for Kirk Penny. Again, he had a wide open look there on the at the basket, just couldn't make it. Potsius. Now into Valanciunas. Valanciunas, and the push on Potsius, I believe. But a good execution there offensively by the Lithuanians. They ran high pick and roll. Valanciunas rolls to the basket. They found him underneath. He just was not able to finish the play one-on-one. Let's see it right here. 
Again, close to the basket against Casey Frank, who doesn't have a chance to block the shot. But Valentunas misses it, and there was a foul there on the offensive rebound by Marty Butchers. Was it was it too much in it there for Putzis to be fair, but he was close, and they called him for the push. Darius Lavrinovich also has come into the game for Lithuania. And right now it's all coming from the perimeter for New Zealand, and those shots aren't falling. And there's no offensive rebounding. I think that the Toblach is going to go back to their active offensive rebounding. Lavrinovich sets the pick. Vasilaskis now with eight on the shot clock. Lavrinovich, good! And the coaches spoke about the Lavrinovich brothers as the revelation of the tournament. They have been invaluable for the team with their outside shooting and smart play. They can be very effective defensively because they are mobile big men, so they can switch on a pick and roll situations. And it's interesting that they would be a revelation because they've been around for a long time. That experience factor for them is probably very important. Corey Webster, good. New Zealand right now just trying to stay within touch. Finally he hits the shot, but look at that. 20 points scored by Lithuania in nine minutes of play. I think that New Zealand just really going to have to tighten up the defense if they want to have a chance in this game. Potsius for three. Good. Oh, they raining threes right now. This is close trouble there for New Zealand. Ty Webster over to Fotu. Penny back to Fotu. Now, Corey Webster, seven on the shot clock, Frank. And the pass intercepted or batted away by Yankunas. Did you see the hands of Lithuanian players? The way they packed the interior, it's almost impossible to pass the ball across the defense. That's the final 20 seconds here of the opening quarter. Lithuania in command. Turnover. That was a rare mistake there by Vasilyauskas. So Ty Webster is going to try to hold it for one. Webster can create, gives it back to Frank for three. And that basket has a lid on it right now. A long attempt, almost goes in from Vasilauskas. That would have been the icing on the cake for Lithuania, but as it is, they lead it 23 to nine, 10 minutes into the game. The FIBA Basketball World Cup round of 16 game between New Zealand and Lithuania. And you can see right now it is going the way of the international heavyweights. Lithuania on top, 23 to 9. And Lindsey Tate has entered the game along with BJ Anthony. Everett Ever Bartlett also. Everett so Bartlett, yeah, looking for a solution. And Webster, Corey Webster, his shot, and really the, uh, the rebounding is just going getting worse and worse. And I thought that B.J. Anthony had a good rebounding position there, but just Lavrinovich too tall, just reaches right over him. Potsius over to Lavrinovich. Potsius for three. And Lavrinovich, I think, is going to be guilty of the push-off. It's in Lavrinovich. He, he, he was definitely using his arm to push off that time. You have to respect. Watch. Lithuania, the way they're running their offer, yeah, there's no there's no question about that. Marty Puchus is not happy about missing the three and Lavrinovich about picking up the foul, but Lithuania really running through the offense. Tate. Now Fotu for three. Good! Well, I'll tell you what, the confidence is there for that kid. This, this, and, and Kozlowskas is visibly upset about this. You don't want this player to hit his first shot because then he can get his confidence going and it could be very dangerous. I mean, of all the players that would come out and steady things, Fotu, the youngster. And from the corner, no good. Ball goes out of bounds, but it's going to be Lithuania ball. Very active, Simas Yosait is the, on the offensive board. He's a tall player there, the small forward position. He's known as a spot-up shooter. Look at the three-pointer by Fotu. 
I thought he was pretty closely guarded there by Jan Kunas. He just made a tough shot. Look at that one more time. What a follow through. Right there, he just steps into it. Pontius and Pontius takes it back up to a 14 point lead. And that will be a three pointer number five there for Lithuania. We are really shooting it well. Well, they put up a lot of threes during the course of any game. And they are averaging 41% for, for, for the tournament behind the arc. Lindsey Tate with five on the shot clock, goes behind his back, hands it over to Fotu, steps in. And B.J. Anthony pushes off on Lavrinovich. That was the same call like on the other side, just didn't have the, the rebounding position, used his arms too much, and an easy call there for the referees to make. B.J. Anthony, a very physical player, I think he's going to have to make an impact right away to stay on the floor defensively. Miskevich is back into the game as well. Number five for Lithuania. Bounce pass inside to Sabutis, and New Zealand dodged a bullet there. That was a great pass for Sabutis underneath the basket. He just didn't make an easy layup. Corey Webster from the corner. Good. But he gets going. Two. That was a two. Well, that's, a, that's a third shot that he has made. Well, now they're saying it's a three pointer, so. It was a three or it was not? I think the, the announcers say it was a three, but they well, added only two points. Yoskevich just gets inside. So he probably was a long two pointer. Yeah, I think it was a two. Back to a 14 point advantage, and Monty Yunus will come back into the contest. So Kazlowskis, you can see talking to Monty Yunus there above the LTU in the 28, keeping his players fresh by rotating them. Webster, good. That's a three. Wow, look at Corey Webster. That's point number nine for him, and he's really picking up the scoring slide there for New Zealand. Well, we saw him do that against Turkey. He had a, a big game, 22 points. He has the ability to, to put up big numbers. Potsius, bounce pass. Jan Kunis and BG Anthony, this time only white shirts. But to me, this is all about defense. If New Zealand wants to get back, they just have to make things happen defensively. Fotu pops out, and the 20-year-old 20, 20 hands it off to Bartlett. Hasn't had any space yet to launch a three. Eight on the shot clock. Fotu gets into the lane and scores, and it's an and one coming for the 20-year-old Isaac Fotu. What a great play by Isaac Fotu. He fakes the three, gets his defender a little bit off the ground, and aggressively takes it to the basket. He's able to take the contact and finish the play. Look at it one more time right here. That's good basketball right here. That's smart. He didn't rush anything. He doesn't really play like a 20-year-old in the last three games. He is a rainbow warrior. And Hawaii putting all that NCAA experience to good use here. But he doesn't really get emotional. I mean, he's, we've seen him make some spectacular plays in the last two games in the group play, and he just stays under control emotionally. Yep. Same demeanor. Never changes his expression, except during the haka. Pontius. Drives in, and the follow from Motiunas was just out of his reach. Lindsey Tate back to Corey Webster. Corey Webster just needs a little bit of space. Fotu hands it off to Bartlett. Bartlett has yet to, to try one, see if he launches one. Here's Corey Webster, pump fake. Seven on the shot clock. Webster has to drive in, and the foul called on I believe uh, Lithuania. But I think Lithuania is playing very good defense. I mean, they maintain the players in, players in front of them for a good 18, 19 seconds. But at the end, Corey Webster was just able to penetrate the defense. Look at that one more time. I mean, he just takes a beating, but he's able to, to go in. So hey, Sabunis. Just, Sabunis picks up a foul. That's the first one for him. So no free throws awarded. Three fouls on Lithuania in the quarter. And Monte Yunus with the rebound. That was a wide open three-pointer after the inbound play to Isaac Fotu. Yasidis. Sabudis. Good. Boy, he's a scorer. I told you before, Jeff, this is his role in Lithuania when he plays for his club in Lithuania. 
inside to Anthony, and he answers. That's a quick basket right there, and Jonas Kozlowskas, the coach of Lithuania, cannot believe it. You gotta play some transition defense. The Tall Blacks will be looking to run. Lithuania on top right now. The question is, can they deliver the telling blows? Motayunas, Valanciunas though, and nobody boxed out Valanciunas. Just physically dominant. I mean, you got Motayunas driving down the lane. If he misses, there's Jonas Valanciunas with the offensive rebound. Great job by him. This past season, the NBA has, was really important for him. Anthony for three. Oh, that is not his shot. B.J. Anthony is more of an inside player. I don't believe he even took that three. I don't think we've seen him taking too many three-pointers in the tournament. But you'd like Fotu to get a, a touch. And the pass, a foul. And you, before you, you saw the action right there. There was a pick there between the two big oh, fellas oh, of Lithuania. Uh, it was Valenciunas, I believe, who went down to set a pick for Motayunas. He popped up. Valenciunas seals the player in the lane. You can right here. You see it right here. He seals him. There's nothing to do. Look at the big target. Look at his arm. He's demanding the ball. This is so difficult to guard. The guards just got to help. They got to help. There's no way for Isaac Fotu to hold his own if he gets pinned underneath the basket. Well, Frank is in the game now with Vukona. Oh, that's and a scrappy lineup the right there. Yeah, they're going to try to up the scrappiness, but Valanciunas just takes it over. What can you do? I mean, if you're KC Frank and you got Jonas Valanciunas posting you up two meters from the basket, I think you had great disadvantage. Tate back to Vacona. Over to Frank. Pump fake. Bartlett. And Frank hustles for the rebound. Penny. Good job by Casey Frank to chase down the long rebound. Frank at the line, looking for Fakona to go to the basket. Gets it inside. And he gets pinned by Valachunas. Valachunas is dominating on both ends of the floor. I mean, he is so dominant right there. Jonas Valanciunas just comes in there and pins the ball to the backboard. No chance for Vukona to score that basket. He was surrounded by three defenders. You see the three jerseys? I thought that Vukona, with his smarts, was going to pass it out to open shooter. Well, this is uh, the most dominating display. You saw an elbow uh, Look, look there. at the elbow. Yeah, right there. It was coming at the end of the play. Jonas Valanciunas just said, no way, not in my house right here. Here again is the pin on the backboard and see if you can see the, uh, the elbow at the end of the play. Great camera work. Look at Sebutis at the point guard. It's a little bit bigger lineup there for the Lithuanians on the perimeter. Both units with a old fashioned hook shot. That was beautiful right there. I mean, again, no double team from New Zealand. So Lithuania goes down to their big guys and they take advantage. 15 point lead for Lithuania, 36 to 21. There you saw Vukona driving the ball, but again he was challenged, almost blocked by Valenciunas, missed it badly. This is where they have to really tighten up defensively and also on the boards. Trying to do a little bit of trap. Decidus though, dribbles out of it. Look at Multiunas just reach over and get the ball, but somehow New Zealand come up with a steal. Webster gets into the lane and makes the pass. Uh, Lithuania were ready for that pass back to the perimeter. That was a little bit of a wild play on the fast break by the Lithuanians. The Yankuna is going to check back into the game for Motayunas. You see, this is what I was talking about. I played for two seasons there for Coach Kozlauskas. Here we see the replay. That was a good reach by Ty Webster. He just knocks it out of the hands of Motayunas. But any time that you make a small mistake, Coach Kozlowska is going to let you know. He's going to pull you aside and just talk to you. Joska Vicious. And foul called on hey. New Zealand. No, no, I no, think on it's, Lithuania. Hey, it's, it's, it's all Valentinus right there on the reach. Valentinus, uh, that's 
only his first. They got just thank lot, but you cannot blame Valentinos to go after the offensive rebound. He's been a huge force there for Lithuania, so he's gonna try every ten, time down. Ten, re, 10 points, nine rebounds for Valentinos. One of the dominating halves that we've seen. Webster and Vakona fouled by Yankunas as he goes up. So that's gonna be free throws now uh, because New Zealand needs something. And Lithuania have committed five. And that was a missed assignment right there. You see the, the shot taken from the three. Good job by Vukuna to be in the right place at the right time, but a missed assignment. But I, I believe it was Yankunas just didn't box out. It is an uphill battle right now for New Zealand. And Vukuna has had his struggles at the free throw line. But I think that you would agree with me that after watching the Toblex five times in Bilbao, they're not going to give up. Vukuna has shot just 53% in the tournament coming into this game. Yeah, he has struggled. We watched him really struggle there in Bilbao. He gets a lot of scrappy offensive rebounds. He was fouled a lot because he draws a lot of contact. He even brings the ball up the court. So when he gets to the free throw, unfortunately for him and New Zealand, he hasn't been as effective. Second is good. So he concentrates and sinks both with 2.15 remaining. I think this is first half. very important last two minutes of the first half because New Zealand has to keep a, a close contact there to the Lithuanians. Over to Potsius, and this allows New Zealand a chance to run. Penny, and traveling, and but you can see the desperation to get out of the fast break and get points, but Lithuania get back on defense. But what a great concentration by the Lithuanians. You saw three Lithuanian players after a missed shot and a fast break at 10 by New Zealand to get back. Look at three jerseys right there. I mean, you gotta be loving it if you're Jonas Kozlowskas. Your players are really focused. They are getting back on defense. This is very important. You wanna stop all the easy baskets there for New Zealand, and you want them to come down and play the five on five grind. Yosidis gets it inside now. Sabutis has it, and Wayne almost turned it over for the shot clock. Webster, they don't want to bail him out with a foul. Oh, there was contact, but nothing was called. No, Fukona pushes it up the floor. It's a 13-point game. Fukona gets inside, and Fukona now able to assert himself. He got an angle right there and a great pass on the inside. He had a size advantage over Marty Butchers. So it's a timeout. I mean, and, and George, as bad as it's been for New Zealand, they're only down by 11. So is the. So you see 117 remaining in the first half. And see if uh, Lithuania can execute something coming out of the timeout. Yankunas catches it pretty far away from the basket. Back to Sabutas. Sabutis drives to Yankunas and Yankunas walks. He was expecting a lot of contact there, which he got later on, but he just took one step too many. That was a good drop pass there after pick and roll situation. Just Yankunas wasn't ready for to catch it or Fotu's come back in, so another option for New Zealand offensively, both with his penetration and his uh, jump shooting. Here he is, back to the basket. Gets in, spins, denied by Yankunas, and it goes back over to Lithuania. Again, Yankunas and Valenciunas, just such two big bodies. They keep control, they stay under control underneath the basket. And it's extremely difficult for New Zealand to get anything going if they get a five on five possession play to go to the basket. Yankunas takes the seat. Montiunas back in. Multiunis and Penny read that pass and intercepted it. That was a sloppy pass there by Bocius. He, he just got to put more power on that because I thought Multiunis had a good position there. There's three the second block. differential here, so we'll see if New Zealand can hold it for one. Over to Webster. And Fotu turns it over, so shaky finish to the first half for Fotu. I thought he had a good look there. I thought he was going to take the three. Look at it right here. I, I thought that Butchus was just recovering. Reco oh, I was say Butchus. I'm sorry. He was recovering at the last moment. Well, 
Yeah, Curtis didn't feel like he traveled. I didn't really see one there, but it could be that he uh, picked up his foot. Last 10 seconds right here of the first half. Let's see what the Lithuanians do. Pontius will try to bring it up the floor. New Zealand got a foul to give. And they, and Lavrinovic, and then Lavrinovic commits the foul on I, Fotu, and that is really oh, a boneheaded play, isn't it? That is a mental mistake by Lavrinovic. Oh, I mean, he immediately oh, puts his hands oh, back. Oh, Coach okay. Kozlowskas is shaking his head and cannot believe it, but it was obviously a foul right there. Look at that one more time. The ball just slips out of his hands, and this is a clear foul on yeah. Isaac Fotu. I mean, he was, they, were, they just clashed. It's a natural I think the way they Instant. play, it's naturally to foul to prevent the fast break, but not with one second. I mean, you've got to realize how much time is left on the clock. Exactly, Jeff. Fotu at the line. And just a little bit of uh, a more hope, a little more hope for New Zealand. Now, you know how important it is to go to the locker room? If he makes his free throws, they're going to go to the locker room only with a nine-point deficit. That's going to be huge. Well, he misses. And Pontius. His shot is off target, so it's a 10-point game. Could have been worse. Could have been maybe even a little bit better. But as it is, New Zealand trailing Lithuania 36 to 26. Well, it's the FIBA Basketball World Cup. It's the round of 16 game, Lithuania and New Zealand. Lithuania on top. It's the beginning of the third quarter. And Joskevicius is running the show here for New Zealand. Uh, point guard. Thought he played pretty well in the first half. He gets it into the big fella and Valanchunas already. Yeah, look at Rob Lowe. I mean, we called for him to make some hard fouls and this time he just watches Valanchunas almost to lay it in with a reverse layup. Too easy. You gotta make some fouls. Penny for three and fouled while shooting the three. So that's a mistake by Lithuania. That is a mistake right there because Kirk Penny just could not buy a shot there in the first half. As we said, he was scoreless and just the sight is commits a very unnecessary foul because the shot was already taken. I mean, that's not gonna make Coach Kozlowski very happy. Well, Yasidis is a player who's a great shooter in his own right. Look at that bruise on his uh, left arm. That's amazing, isn't it? They play some tough basketball here at <laughs> FIBA Basketball World Cup. A lot of contact we've seen here on the basket. Obviously, it's probably not from the game of today, but that's a big bruise. And nothing is going right for Kirk Penny. Kaunietzis watching his teammates. He picked up the injury late in the preparations. I first saw him play in 2006 in Japan, and he really blossomed in 2010 when they won the bronze medal. Only 32% for Kirk Penny from the field. In both inside and outside the arc. He makes the second and the third, so we'll see if that gets him on track. That gets it back to a 10-point game. Mote Yunus hands it off and hits it to, gets it back rather, and puts up an air ball. That was a wild shot right there. I thought Mote Yunus was going all the way. Now Penny looking for an opening, but it's going to be Abercrombie, and that's the man they need to get going. So both shooters and scores that we said that they need to get going, Kirk Penny and Thomas Abercrombie just make their first four points there for the Toe Blacks in the second half. So they're getting going. Down to an eight-point deficit. Here's an opportunity for New Zealand. They need a stop. And when you need a basket, go inside to what works. And they get a foul on low. It's been bread and butter there for Lithuania to go down low to Jonas Valanciunas. But it's like you said, Lowe has fouls to give. He's, he's only got a couple. Now Yusaitis hands it off. Yaskevicius. And he gets inside, 
and finds the defense too strong from Ty Webster, and Vacona comes in and snatches the ball out of the air. Here's Penny. Over to Abercrombie. Couldn't quite catch it. Had to pass it back outside to Ty Webster. Webster says, move out of the way, guys. Here I come. He's going to put up a three. And the fight from Vukona gets the ball to Abercrombie, and Abercrombie goes up and scores again. So and look at New Zealand. I mean, This they, is the New Zealand that we saw in Bilbao. But did you see they got the offensive rebound? They didn't throw it out to establish the offense. They just immediately went back up. You got to like that if you coach with change. Now, so Ronaldo Sabutis drives in. And this is his quickness right there that can hurt you. Ronaldo Sabutis is an extremely quick guard if he can turn the corner. Oh, back to Penny, and offensive foul called against New Zealand. And you can see your It looks, looks like, like an he's injury. Caught. Yeah, hopefully he's okay. I, I was blocked. My view was blocked from the live action, so we'll see if we can see a replay here. We've already seen Machulis go down. There's Kaunietis. He's injured and out of the tournament, obviously before the tournament. And Lithuania hoping he's okay. And that was uh, Ty Webster setting. A tough low pick right there with the shoulder. I mean, he just goes there to the rib cage of Simas Isaitis. I think he's going to be OK. He's just going to have to shake it off. But that was a big blow right there. So Isaitis out of the game. And Sabutis gets in, puts it up, and Rob Lowe tries to keep Valanchunas out. And now Vukona has the ball. Vukona just finds a way to get a rebound. But then Abercrombie just fumbles the ball away. That's a costly mistake right there. They had a good look and a good chance to go for a fast break. So Mendogas Kuzminskis, the wiry Kuzminskis, into the game, number six. Potsius goes baseline. And he is pushed by Webster. He beat Webster that right there, just got past him, and Webster has to commit a foul when he shoved him out of bounds. Ty Webster can just really move his feet. This is you see Machulis with his, uh, his eye bandaged. You think we'll see him on back in the game? Well, I think he's going to come back if, he, if it's necessary for Kozlowskas to put him back. Now, Valanchunas decides to pass it back out. And the ball batted out to Potsius. In New Zealand almost had it in their hands, but just somehow got away in a long rebound at Lithuania. Sabutis, nowhere to go, and Vakona just takes it away. Quickly in the open floor, bounce pass to Penny, and New Zealand have cut it back to six points, and that gets the tall black fans up on their feet. And I'll tell you what, how valuable is Mika Vukona to, for New Zealand? I mean, he gets the rebound, goes fast break, makes a great pass, and two points for Penny. Absolutely. Doesn't wait to make the outlet, just takes it himself. Entry pass now, Valanciunas, no help. And if he doesn't get help, I don't think he can stop it. There's absolutely no way for Rob Lowe. We've seen it for 24 minutes for Valanciunas to have his way. They're going to have to double. And Vukona was very fortunate to get that but Valanciunas just swats Webster's shot out of bounds. I mean, he's been a monster there underneath the basket. It's been just like a wall right there, defensive wall called Jonas Valanciunas. What a game he's having. Ten Look points, at that. nine rebounds, three block shots. That's right here. Ty Webster, get it out of here, youngster. And Valanciunas is going to come out of the game, but one more look at his swat. He's on the swat team. Now, B.J. Anthony into the game for New Zealand. Lavrinovich as well. They have both Lavrinovich on the floor right now, so yeah. let's see how they change the game. Vukona and Abercrombie passes it back. Penny for three off the front of the rim. That was a long three-pointer by Kirk Penny. Well, I think he's so desperate to, to get a shot off, and Lavrinovich scores quickly. And Vukona just got caught up there trying to get an offensive rebound that he just didn't have enough time to get back on defense. His teammates got to help him after what he's providing for them, for him. DJ Anthony over to Webster. 
Five on the shot clock. They find B.J. Anthony driving in. Great find by Kirk Penny. That was a good find because New Zealand was moving the ball around the perimeter, and then somehow they found a way to go in. But if you double team, somebody's got to be open. In the corner now, Kuzminskis gets into the lane and fouled by Penny. They're going to count it. Oh, that's a big play by Kuzminskas. He's the least used player there by Kozlowskas on the team. He's the only player from the 12 that is averaging less than 10 minutes. And he makes, makes a big play right here. Kirk Penny is not happy about it. He knows he should have fouled him hardly. He's beat right here, but Kuzminskas got the strength. And he, it's all about size because Kuzminskas is well over two meters tall. And as you said, he's long and wiry. Well, they've got size in abundance with the, with the, excuse me, Lithuania. Now Abercrombie comes out of the game. And Corey Webster in. He breaks the free throw. And Ty Webster. So at least Lithuania didn't give away the three-point, excuse me, New Zealand didn't give away the three-point play. Penny might give it a take because Minskis off the dribble. Now Webster, B.J. Anthony, and B.J. Anthony fouled by Labrinovic. All right, that's a block right there. Well, Darius Labrinovic. He lifts his hand. It's, it was clear to him. He was beat by B.J. Anthony. Just moved his feet a little bit slower. Look at that one more time. Oh, that was the help side. Yeah, it was Krzysztof who got beat, and Darius Labrinovic just steps in there to help him, but commits the foul. And he goes behind his back and draws the foul on Kuzminskis. Never easy for Kirk Penny because you got Kuzminskis against you. Who's got the size advantage? He's taller, but he can still move his feet. He's, He's got quick. extremely long arms. Look at that right here. Almost a block there for Kuzminskis. Just a little bit of a body contact there before the shot was taken. He, you can see what he thought of that foul. Plays here in Spain with uh, his last season with Unicaja Malaga, Kuzminskis. That's also where Doma Sabonis, the son of uh, Lithuania legend Darvidas, played, played this, well, for the past few years. He's going to be going to Gonzaga. Kirk Penny makes both. So New Zealand doing a decent job of uh, staying within striking distance at this stage. Kuzminskis battles for position, and the offensive foul called on Kuzminskis. Oh, that is a tough break for him right there because he's got a big-time oh, advantage oh, on the block oh, against Kirk oh, Penny, and they were looking for him. And I think Kozlowskis was upset because they could have made the pass sooner. I think that the angle was poor, too, because they were passing it from high-low. I think that you always try to create a better passing angle by taking few dribbles to the sideline. New Zealand with an opportunity. How many chances are they going to have to cut into this Lithuania lead? Lakona over to Corey Webster. And Lavrinovic, Kishtoff Lavrinovic with the rebound. Yaskevicius over to Darius Lavrinovic. He gets into the lane and draws the foul from Vakona. He was well fouled by, by Vakona. There was no question about it. He just touched his shooting arm there. When he made a, a turnaround jumper, look at that one more time. He's got good 10 centimeters advantage him in, in height. And Darius Alvinovic just did not wait for anything. I mean, he, he felt a mismatch and just went, went immediately to work on one on one situation. Well, they're going to miss the scrappiness of Vakona, who goes to the bench with three fouls. But they, they get to save him for a few minutes, but I'm sure that he's going to go back into the game in a, in a short span of time. Already matching his, his tournament average here of eight points. Now he's up to nine points. I'm sorry, he's up to seven points. So just right on his tournament average. Corey Webster over to Penny. Fotu sets the pick. Nope, rolls into the corner. Fotu thought about it. And he does put it up, and it's good. That is a soft touch right there. I mean, he sized up the defender. 
Jaroslav Rinovich just took a jab slap at him and just came back and shot a nice, nice medium range jumper. Three pointer from Darius Levinovich and he's really on it right now. And this is what Lithuanian coaches and the media has been talking about the possibility of, of a shooting threat from the outside if you have the Lavrinovich brothers on the court. Penny for three. That's 0 for 4 for Kirk Penny, and he is really frustrated. He just cannot find his mark. He is well pressured by Kuzminskas, though. He's playing a good job defensively, and that's why I think he made two mistakes, Kuzminskas. And he's still on the floor just because of the defense. Kirk Penny takes a seat and Casey Frank into the game. Oh, that's a big lineup there for New Zealand. Look at Casey Frank, BJ Anthony, and Fotu. So Budiso gets inside and has a chance for a three-point play. I cannot believe this. Fotu didn't come to challenge the shot. He just kind of watched it right there. But Sebut is too late. Did you see that? He didn't come from the weak side. He was just watching. That was a poor defensive play by Fotu. He's right there, and he gets out of the way. Do you believe that? Yeah, Valanciunas would have gone up and pinned that on the board. Or at least made a hard foul. And this is not good because the lead is up to 13 points. If, and if Sebutis can complete a three-point play, it's going to be up to 14. So Lithuania, New Zealand had the ball down eight points, but weren't able uh, to get closer. Now Lithuania have taken it back to a 14-point advantage. Corey Webster floats in. It's good. That's a solid take right there by Corey Webster. And he's the top scorer there for the Tall Blacks with 11 points in 15 minutes. He's been able to find an angle and to go on the inside. Of course, now he's got it a lot easier with Lavinovic brothers there playing defense instead of Valenciunas and Moteyunas. Sebutis puts it up. And Fotu with the rebound. That was a strong rebound by Fotu. I was expecting the same challenge there on the block on the last play. Fotu up top. Now B.J. Anthony hands it back off to Ty Webster. Ty Webster puts up a jumper. It's good, nothing but the bottom of the net there. That is a nice athletic play by Ty Webster. He just completely creates his own shot from a three. What a play. Lavrinovich fouled by Frank, so that's going to be free throws for Lithuania. And here you see the experience of Krzysztof Lavrinovich. He sees Casey Frank is a little bit high on his, with his knees. He's a little bit out of the defensive position, out of his stance, and he immediately takes advantage. He draws the foul, and he's a great free throw shooter, so he's going to go to the line. He will take it any time you give it to him. Well, Krzysztof Lavrinovich came in shooting 100%, so can't get much better than that. I tell you what, Kuzminskas is still staying on the floor after he looked a little bit shaky in the beginning, but you got two players possibly injured or banged up a little bit with Yasaitis and Machulis right there. I mean, Lithuania just really has to scramble here. Both free throws good. And it really is a, a deliberate pace by Lithuania. It's not up and down like we're used to. Good hands from Kuzminskis, knocks it away. Terrible passing angle for Frank. There was no way to complete that pass. Jeskevich just passes back now inside to Darius Lavrinovich. Did you see the quickness on that shot? Darius Lavrinovich just caught it and immediately went, went up. Fotu fakes it. Frank for three. Good. That's a three pointer from Casey Frank. And Casey Frank is saying to the referee, I got even pushed on that shot. They got Darius Lavrinovich fired up, even through his belt. The back support back. Paltzius right at the line. Good. That was a tough shot for Marty Puchus. He was almost covered there by Webster. Back to an 11 point advantage and New Zealand presumably will uh, try to hold it for one here. Corey Webster 
five on the shot clock. And he draws the foul and has an and one. Let's see if the referee's going to count it. They count it. Basket is good. So 6.1 seconds remaining. That's the only bad part of this for New Zealand is that Lithuania have a little bit of time. Oh, what a heads up play there by Corey Webster. Did you see? I mean, he just sent everybody off and said, hey, I'm going to create my own shot right. Takes the bump from Putsius. What a play. That was not an easy jumper. Look at that. One more time. What a beautiful move by Webster. He's got, 50, he's got 13 points. Lithuania not really dominating per se like they were in the first half with Valanciunas, but Webster now gets it back to an eight-point deficit. And New Zealand may even try to come up with a steal here with Kenny re-entering the game. Now I would, I would play a conservative. Sabutis gets it up. So eight points is uh, all that separates these two teams with 10 minutes remaining here at the Palau San Jordi. It's 58 to 50, Lithuania on top. Corey Webster, Jared Kenny, Mika Vukona, Fotu, and Abercrombie stay on the floor for the Tall Blacks. So 58 to 50, the start of the fourth quarter here. And Jared Kenny is indeed still in the game for New Zealand. This is a big possession for New Zealand, only eight point deficit. They were in this position a minute ago, then the, lo the lead went back to six. This time it's Webster, Whoa! and he backs down a three! Do you believe that it was off the glass? Corey Webster falling down and just nailing the long three. Quickly, Potsius back to Lavrinovic. It's a five-point game now. It hasn't been this close since the first quarter. And a smart foul by Kenny right there. He was pinned underneath the basket by Krzysztof Lavrinovic. Stop the play. It's going to be out of bounds. Look at that right here. I mean, Puchus was all over him. That was an incredible shot. A lot of luck on that, but still Corey Webster, the hot man for the Tall Blacks with 17 points. Puchus pushed out by Webster. And that is not going to count. But well, that's a second team foul. I mean, in only 40 seconds of, of play there in the fourth quarter, I think that New Zealand has to be conservative in spending their fouls. It was a smart play because he was well beaten. Well, they want to make Webster work on defense. Kuzminskis puts up a three. Questionable shot selection there. You know, that defender, Abercrombie, was very close up to him. Now Vakona. Surely you've got to find Webster. He's got the hot hand. And Kenny chases it down. Almost a turnover. Fotu comes to set the pick. Webster for three. Short. And the rebounding position for New Zealand gets the foul called on Lavrinovic coming over the back. Kozlowskis doesn't like it, but Darius Lavrinovic is hit with the foul. Mika Vukona again just sacrificed his body and fought hard there for the rebound. Doesn't get it, but Lavrinovic is called for the foul. Okay, one more time. This was the push off. This is what the Lithuanians are also upset about. But here, Mika Vukona, among three Lithuanian players, among three green jerseys, just gets somehow, finds a way to get fouled. Well, Valachunas comes back in with uh, Lithuania wobbling just a little bit. Darius Lavrinovic goes out. And Lithuania not able to put that separation that they needed to put this game away. And here the Tall Blacks are. Webster. They are a resilient team, the Tall Blacks. Webster with three on the shot clock. Spins, gets it up. Fotu stays alive, and this time 
It is on a Fotu. foul called on, is it Fotu or yeah, Fakona? Fotu. I think he pushed over Valanciunas there on the offensive rebound. So, but I'll tell you what, I mean, the Tall Blacks are just exclusively going to, to Corey Webster. Ooh. Didn't see too much there, but it's being uh, consistent, I guess. Kristoff Lagrinovich drives in. The ball stays off the rim, and Abercrombie. Boy, did he have a good look there at the basket. I thought he was going to make that one with ease. Fakona goes in, passes back to Fotu. Left open. Go, oh, he is just money, and now New Zealand have trailed, or they're trailing by just two points. We got a game here. It's a two-point lead only for Lithuania. And they get a scramble. They're going to go with Machulis, who's got stitches in his eye. He's going to check back into the game. Potsis. Sabudis in the lane, right at the line. And the rebound, the hustle from Vukona. And he is fouled by Valanchunas, I believe. Do you believe the quickness and dedication of Mika Vukona on this place? I mean, he just goes there relentlessly. Has, he, has the coach left Valanchunas on the bench for too long? I mean, he just went with what was successful for him before. Really, the, the brothers Lavrinovich just give you a completely different option. And here was Vukona between four players Lithuania, of Lithuania just managing to get an offensive rebound and getting fouled again. The How foul was on Potsis, by the way. And here's Fotu that last time down. But did you see it was a cardinal mistake that was, that, that was done by on defense by Kuzminska as he left the ball. I mean, he got himself faked out of the play. You never leave the ball. Well, he's come out of the game, Kuzminskas. He shakes his head, but what you like to see is Monteiunas is coming over and saying, hey, it's okay, man, we're still up two points. Everything will be okay. I mean, he's just really down about it. Look at it. He's just hiding his face there in the towel. So New Zealand, who would have thought it? Trailed by 15 points. Well, we say it before, Jeff, they just never give up. But the way Lithuania were pounding it inside to the big guys, and here they are, and if he hits this, they take the Whoa! lead, and they have! Corey Webster is on fire! He's got 20 points, and New Zealand have taken a 59-58 lead. That's hard to believe that this could happen against a team like Lithuania. Machulis now. And the scrap and the foul on either Vukona or Abercrombie. It's on Abercrombie. But Corey Webster, well, now you know why they keep going to him. He has got the ability to right make, make shots. Well, who's guarding him? I mean, Marty Monte Yunus. But Pochus was got just stuck on the screen over there, and Monte Yunus just got to read it and go and help. The Tall Blacks. Well, maybe that Haka made a difference at the start of the game. Off the front of the rim. That was a really short miss by Matrullis, and I don't know if that was a smart shot because he was on the bench for a good 20 minutes. New Zealand started this tournament 0-3, and now, riding a two-game winning streak, they have charged back from a 15-point deficit to take the lead against Lithuania. Offensive foul called on Vukona. And Vukona needs to be careful that he doesn't pick up a technical foul complaining. That will be number four on Vukona. No, it was oh, no, it is on Abercrombie. It was off the ball then. It was off the ball. Because Vukona was right there on the, on the ball, and we thought it was him just picking up the offensive foul. On the and also the way he was arguing, but Kazalskis, nervous times now for Lithuania. Number four in the FIBA rankings there on the ropes against New Zealand. Well, there you see it. New Zealand on top. Will Lithuania try to get the ball to Valanchunas? He sets the pick. He goes inside. Over goes to Montiunas for three. And Valanchunas, a good hustle from Kenny to knock that ball out, but Lithuania maintained possession. They see Machulis gets inside the lane, and Fotu is going to be called for the push. And this is what Valanchunas can do. He just 
He's, he's, he's difficult just to keep off the boards. He's just always there, ready for the offensive rebound. He's so dedicated. And he works very hard for the good defense, for the good rebounding position when the shot is taken. Just goes behind the defense. You saw it. I mean, he just works at it. Well, he goes to the line, so this will become a factor in the game as well. New Zealand just with two fouls. Excuse me, Lithuania with two. And New Zealand have five team fouls. And I said it, there were two fouls for New Zealand in the first 40 seconds of the fourth quarter. And I said immediately, I mean, New Zealand has to be careful with spending their fouls. And look at it, I mean, after four minutes of play in the fourth quarter, Lithuania is already in the bonus. And they have a very good free throw shooting team. Well, Valanciunas came into this shooting 55%. That's the only weakness. Motayunas and Valanciunas, they both shoot 55% from the free throw line. But as a team, they shoot 72%. So it's a good free throw shooting team. Well, he makes both of them. And New Zealand now trailing again by one. Webster floats in. And uh, Valanciunas with the rebound. I mean, he's just so dominant on, on, in rebounding right now that I think other players just got to get involved there. Well, the referee has stopped play. He goes over to get a towel to wipe off the ball. The perspiration. Valanciunas has got two, 10 rebounds, so he's up to double-double with 16 points. Incredible scoring, six for eight from the field, 75%. Right around his average for the tournament of 72%. Such a highly effective player around the block. Just love to have this guy on your team. He's been a force defensively. He's got the three blocks. Machulis and another foul called on New Zealand. So now Machulis goes to the line, and as you say, a good free throw shooting team. And this will be a difficult, difficult situation for New Zealand to cope with. You have to be extremely conservative in spe spending the fouls. Look at it right here. And I thought that Thomas Abercrombie, he's lots more than Machuli, so I think he can stay in front of him. But he was just too high on his knees, just wasn't in any kind of defensive stance, and just lost the battle one-on-one. -on -one. They're just going to have to be very focused in one-on-one -on -one battles from the perimeter. You don't want the shooters of Lithuania to get to the free throw line. He only makes one of two, so it could have been worse. And it's a two-point game again now. Kenny getting quality minutes. He was very important against Finland. Abercrombie passes up the shot, drives in. Nowhere to go. Fotu chases it down. Back outside to Kenny. Four on the shot clock. And Webster hangs in the air and draws the foul right at the end of the shot clock with one second on the shot clock. And Machula says, hey, I just had my hands up. Oh, that is a tough break there for Lithuania because they played incredible defense there for 23 seconds. Let's see one more time. Corey Webster just in desperation hangs in the air. And I thought that Machulis was just really trying to get away from the contact, really. Yeah, and it looked like Webster just lost, just kind of fumbled the ball. So a break for New Zealand. But Corey Webster, I mean, does he just exert a lot of energy just to create those shots? I mean, New Zealand is completely depending on him at the moment. Kirk Penny still on the bench. Second one is good, so well if you if you've got a guy that's scoring points. That's tie game. 22 points for Corey Webster and three rebounds. One assist. What a game he's having. 40 points from the bench for New Zealand. Montiunas gets it to Valanchunas. Double teamed over to Machulis. He just lost the ball, but he gets it back. Two on the shot clock, and Machulis calmly puts it up, misses. Fotu fouls Valanchunas. And he's fired up. He gets another valuable offensive rebound there for Lithuania and just keeps them in the game. I think it's now about Valanchunas against Corey Webster, I mean, if you ask me, Jeff. Just two players just completely dominant in the game. He's just so big. Well, I mean, what do you do? I mean, Mika Bukona is tough. I mean, he rarely misses an assignment to box out, but 
Valanciunas is just so long that he can reach right over him. And he is noticeably bigger this summer. I mean, he has, the, you know, the weight training is, is paying off, isn't it? Look at his long arms. I mean, he, he's got an incredible body for basketball because he gets to move his feet, even though I assume he's down with 120 kilos. And also, despite shooting 55% coming into the tournament, he's made his last three here. Big game, Jonas. That's how we're going to start calling him. Oh, no doubt about it. Makes both and back to a two point game. There's back to New Zealand. Will they look inside or are they just going to give it to Webster and let him clear out? Abercrombie lost it. Zakona gets it. He's going to have to scramble. He's going to have to put it up, and the traveling is going to be the call. That was a good call because Mika Bukuna just stopped and changed his pivot foot and traveled when he was trying to create some space between him and Motayunas. Motayunas, again, so big that he creates a problem there for Bukuna to get a shot off. Ty Webster getting up off the bench to come in. Sabudis over to wide open Motayunas. And again, struggling to keep Lithuania off the boards. Look at that. Second and third <laughs> opportunities, and Valanciunas gets it to go. Back to a four-point game. I mean, he is completely dominating the boards and the game. A huge game there for Jonas Valanciunas to keep his team intact. 20 points, 13 rebounds for the Toronto Raptors center. Abercrombie, good. That was a tough shot over Motayunas. They need any, anything from Thomas Abercrombie. He hasn't been a big factor in the game today. Made four points in the second and half. 318. You really can't rebound. You can't keep Lithuania off the boards. It's, you know. Now Sabudis puts up a three. That's an air ball, and that's about the only thing that can happen for New Zealand that that's the best case scenario because no rebound from that. That was a good play because they went inside to Valenciunas. Valenciunas passed it out to Sebutis who was somewhat open. He's a good shooter so he decided to take a three-pointer but it was an air ball. <laughs> that's the ideal scenario. No bounce there. Well, great minutes from Kenny uh, and Ty Webster now re-enters the game. Ty Webster takes it up the floor. Ty Webster for six points. Go to to Abercrombie. And Corey Webster. Dakota puts it up over Valentunas. What a quality shot. from Mika Vakona. Did you see that? I mean, he had to take it one on one because there was only six seconds left on the shot clock. And he makes a huge shot. And we got a tie ball game at 65. New Zealand Tall Black showing what they're all about. They started 0-3. They've got the two-game winning streak, and they are threatening to pull off what I think would be a major upset. Valanciunas spins, puts it up, and in! He's the man on the mission right here. Jonas Valanciunas, incredible, unstoppable there for New Zealand in the second half. Well, you've got to go to him every time down the floor, in my opinion. Webster, back to Vakona. And Corey Webster, scrap for the ball. Look at Vakona get on the ground, but it ends up with Montayunas. He goes in, he misses the dunk, but a foul has been called on Abercrombie. What athletic play there by Abercrombie. I mean, he was just somehow, he managed to get back into the play. I'm sure we're gonna see the replay of a dunk attempt there by Montayunas on the fast break. Abercrombie has fouled out of the game. He's upset with that, but look at Vakona. Then Montayunas runs it well for a big man. Now this is what you try to do. If you have a big man on the run, you just try to slam it home. At least you get a foul right there. No easy layups, nothing soft. Montayunas just takes it strong to the basket. Now you saw Machulis at the other end a couple of minutes ago get called for the foul with Webster. And you see Abercrombie goes straight up, alters the shot, but picks up the foul. And the free throw game is absolutely crucial here in this round of 16 game. 
there. Lithuania shooting 15 for 19 for 79 percent at the moment. I think he bricked that one, but it goes in. Yeah, over 80 percent from the free throw line. It is huge. County Etis. Corey Webster remains in the game. Ty Webster has the ball. Both in, he can shoot it. So it's man to man. Get Kurt Penny, dribbles in, puts up a tough shot, and Vacona hustles for the rebound. Penny is bailed out by the foul. He was fumbling the ball, and a foul called. It's his team foul number four. That is also important because I think that New Zealand just needs to get back. He needs to get to the free throw line as early as possible. This was Mika Vukona. I mean, he's been incredible for New Zealand. He has just got every ball that can go to either of the teams. You've got Mika Vukona. He's got it for your team. Seven points, nine rebounds for Mika Vakona. Kirk Penny has six points. Ty Webster inbounds it. And the scrap for the ball, and it goes over to Lithuania. And really, uh, that was Marty Poch who's just coming up big there with the pressure on the ball. He got involved in the out-of-bounds play, was just able to alter the direction. He gets in there, gets a shot to the face almost right there, but he, he's fired up. Great play from Martinez Muncius defensively. It's the little things like that that are going to win your ball games. And now New Zealand just going to really climb down on defense. This is a huge defensive possession right here. Four points and a under minute and a half to go. And B.J. Anthony's checked in to body up on Valanciunas to try to give them some more size inside. Content to run some time off the clock here. Seven, six, five. Machulis, go! That was a huge three-pointer. Unbelievable shot by Machulis. It's a seven-point game. A very comfortable lead here for Lithuania. But they've got the upper hand now. Up seven with 105 to go. Pass to Corey Webster. He fumbles it out of bounds or into the hands of Potsius. And Webster fouls Potsius. And really, you just feel it slipping away now for New Zealand. That's two turnovers, very costly turnovers there for New Zealand in the last 30 seconds, or last two possessions, basically. You, you just cannot afford it. Two times in a row, they cannot inbound the ball. That is just too much with the game, with the game on the line. You just cannot afford mistakes like that. See the tall black fans. Team, uh, it's getting away from him, but for the Lithuanian fans, it's starting to think about the quarterfinals. Potsius puts it up off the back of the rim. But we have seen some crazy things happen here at the World Cup, so don't count out the tall blacks. Something can happen. It's this game of basketball. Still one minute to go. We have seven at the moment with the second free throw shots there for Potsius. It's a seven point lead. Basketball World Cup has indeed thrown up some interesting uh, periods of play here, some unexpected things. Eight points, the difference. No, well, the clock is the enemy. And the defense from Montiunis overplaying, trying to get the steal. That's a big man right there at 2 meters 11. Donatas Montiunis, uh, he's overplaying the lane. Good job by him to be very active there defensively. 50.8 seconds to go. Ty Webster, New Zealand do not have time. Here's Penny. Puts the ball on the floor, puts it up. And the follow from Vukona has the ball blocked. Now, Vukona's asking for the basket to count. And I think the referee is asking, no, oh, saying no goal to me. That's okay, one more time was the drive by Kirk Penny. See if he gets it up off the glass before the block. No, no, no way, no way. That was by the ref. Great call. Can't blame him for asking. So eight points of depth. The clock is stopped. So but that's good for the zoom. Did you see Bukona just getting that rebound? Fighting to the death. 73-66. We they said before, get a quick foul. we said before that Mika Bukona, not a great free throw shooter, but in the game today, it's similar like 
Valentunas have been able to connect on his free throw shots. They, I'm sure they're going to have to stop the clock somehow. So the, they're going to have to foul, but the big question is who do you foul in the Lithuanians? Nervous moments for the Lithuanian, the New Zealand fans there. Well, Potsius is fouled. The man, I'm guessing, that they, they wanted to foul. They stopped the clock at 40 seconds. Big free throws there for Marty Potsius. Very big free throws for Marty Potsius. And he misses the first one. He missed it really short right there. He actually is a good shooter. This must be strong. No question bit. about it, but I think it's a high pressure situation. Second one is also no good, and the rebound goes off of Lithuania. So the clock stopped. It was almost Third, a missed box I mean, out. You know, uh, with 42 seconds or whatever it was for Vakona when he made the two free throws, only three seconds has gone off the clock. But still, I feel like New Zealand need to get it going quickly here. Webster pulls up at the line. Good! And now it's back to a four-point game. 29.2 seconds remaining. And they haven't fouled. Yes, they have, finally. So Matulis. Remember, he hit that big three-pointer. And he's also hit some free throws. That's a fourth foul there for Vukona. This was the last play by Webster. Corey Webster. A nice jumper. But still, Lithuania's got a four-point lead. Not a bad intention there by New Zealand. They tried to pressure and maybe go for the eight-second violation, but then realized they were beaten, so they, they fouled Machulis. And he misses. And suddenly, it's uh, the Lithuanians who are on the edge of their seats. And we said that they're shooting as a team goal to the game today, 72% from the free throw line. a five-point game. Listen, these guys play in big-time games in Europe or the NBA. Uh, the Lithuanians, they are used to these situations. But now New Zealand's going to make a shot. Kenny out of the game. Ty Webster back in. And Webster, Corey Webster goes up and makes another basket, and it gets it now to a three-point game. They have to get a foul. They do not get the foul. They're going to have to get the foul. You'd think they would want to get Potsius, Ooh, and they do just in time with 11.4 seconds. But that is costly. I thought that 10 seconds must have elapsed there from the time. Were they trying to get the backcourt violation? Well, I thought that they went for the steal. This was a spectacular, another spectacular play by Corey Webster over Marty Potsius. But then it just kind of, there was a collapse defensively. 26 points for Corey Webster. Because there was a trap right there in the corner, and when the ball got out of the trap, then nobody was close to the ball. And he drops the first one in there. And the second one is good as well. Now that is clutch. And Penny almost threw it away. Penny gets it back. He has to put it up and tries to draw the contact. Maintain possession. Good job by Motayunas just to stay down on his feet, just put his hand up. Such a big man that there was no way for Kirk Penny to even see the basket. Look at him one more time in replay. Motayunas stays there. Good job. Kirk Penny was looking for the contact, but none was there. Only with the body slightly, but he was the one initiating the contact. Ty Webster comes out. Jared Kinney comes in. They have to take the shot immediately. Penny inbounds it to Penny. Fouled by. No, he, he stepped out of, out of bounds. bounds. So that gives it back to Lithuania. So Lithuania are going to bring this terrific run by New Zealand. They won their last two games to get here. They threatened the upset today. Pachulis, and the ball is intercepted. Corey Webster puts up the long shot. And New Zealand's run at the FIBA Basketball World Cup comes to an end. Sadness for them and their fans. We'll see more of them in the future. I mean, they have got a bright future. They fall 76-71 to one of the real powerhouses in the international game. Lithuania, 
move on to the quarterfinals of the FIBA Basketball World Cup.